honestly, I feel terrible and I feel for the family. I cursed enough yesterday. And if it would, it would not be unethical to curse on the media, I would curse right now. Because it really pisses me off. But again, we have to be real. It happened and we have to deal with it. And I can assure the public that we are not going to cover nothing. We're going to be open and frank with the people and let the people understand exactly what transpired. The trips are going to fall where they may. Are you planning to speak with the family? Perhaps, yes, I'm going to reach out to the family. Are there any reports that noise was being made from the van on Sunday? No, I have no reports of that. And again, that could have been a possibility. But maybe where the van was parked to where the officers are in the station, even if noise were there, they would not have heard. Is this something that is sanctioned, though, using the police prisoner van as a detention cell? But I, I wouldn't see nothing wrong with it. Um, after all, it is a secure area to keep prisoners, so long as the engine is running and air is circulating. And in the absence of a police station and a cell, they were improvising, which I, I cannot kill them for that. But the thing is that when they arrive at the police station, they are to have made sure that the young man was removed from the van, and that there was where things went wrong. Is this something routinely done, placing a person inside that van? It's the first, it's the first I'm hearing of it.